with people and that how it, it helps get rid of addictions. Let me give you an interesting way of getting rid of temptations or not acting upon temptations. This is a true story. This is a sheikh, an Arabic sheikh that I happened upon for the qadr of Allah, يعني, maybe so I can share it with people. And he, this sheikh solves every problem you present him with two rak'at. Every problem you present him, he solves it with two rak'at. So, and I heard him explaining this. He says, a guy came to me, said, Ya Sheikh, I look at women a lot. You know, one of those guys. You know, he's always peeking at women. I call those brothers at their peak performance. <laughs> yeah? So he's peeking all the time and everything. He says, Sheikh, help me. I look at women too much. The Sheikh said, it's really simple. But you have to commit to this. Every time you look at a woman, and I don't mean accidental look or like, you know, you just business dealing look where there's no desire involved, but like look, look. He said, every time you look at a woman, pray to rak'at. Any time of the day, you look at a woman, the way that's in, in, improper, go pray to, to rak'at. See, what's happening now? What's the formula? Why does this work? What is the bigger deal for, for Iblis? Does Iblis love that you look at a woman more so than he hates that you pray two rak'at to Allah? He hates that you pray two rak'at to Allah more than his love that you obey, disobey by looking at a woman. True? So he said, every time you pray two rak'at, I mean, you look at a woman, pray two rak'at. The guy said, I'm a kind of a receptionist. There are a lot of women. He said, just pray two rak'at. The guy said, the first day I prayed like five times, yani ten rak'at. The next day I prayed eight rak'at. After that, six rak'at. Then four. Then two. Then he said, after that, before I even look, if I hear a woman coming, like I hear her voice, she's on the phone, or I hear her high heels, tuck, 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 like that, the shaitan will tell me, don't look. <laughs> if you look, you have to pray two rak'at, and just don't look. And he called the sheikh and said, sheikh, I don't look at all now. Sheikh said, another guy came with, the same, with a similar problem. He said, sheikh, I smoke. And you know the smokers. Make dua. The dua of cigarettes, right? They make dua. Sheikh said, let me tell you something. Every time you smoke a cigarette, make fresh wudu. Even if you have wudu, make fresh wudu and pray two rak'at. The guy said, Sheikh, I smoke two packs a day. He said, make fresh wudu and pray two rak'at. And you know how smokers quit, right? This guy said, the first day, I prayed ten rak'at. That means he smoked five cigarettes. He went from two packs to five cigarettes in the first day. He'd make fresh wudu and pray two rak'at. He said, then the second day, notice the second day only, I prayed four times, يعني eight rak'at. And then the third day, three. The fourth day, two. The fifth day, just one, one cigarette. He, smoked, he prayed two rak'at. He said, after that, every time I want to smoke a cigarette, or I think maybe I should smoke a cigarette, shaitan will come to me and say, if you smoke, now you have to make wudu all over again and get wet and pray to rak'at. Just, just leave the cigarette. <laughs> so the sheikh then wrote about the two rak'at solution in his book. He said, then a young man read the book and he called me. He said, sheikh, I read about your two rak'at solution and I used to miss fajr. And it would make me so angry to miss fajr. He said, one day at night, I sat up in my bed, just alone. There's nobody in my room, just like a madman. I sat up in my bed. And I said out loud, Wallahi al-Azim, if I miss Fajr tomorrow, I will pray 100 rak'at. And he'll pray 50 times extra salah. He said, Fajr came, no alarm clock, nothing. Iblis said, get up, get up quickly, it's Fajr time. <laughs> he said, for one year, I never missed Fajr. And I would show up before the Mu'addin even at the masjid. And then they realized that and they gave me the keys to the masjid and now I'm the one who opens up the masjid for Fajr. And I really love this idea of the two rak'at. The only way it will work though is if you commit to it. And I wanted to share it with you because you might use it for whatever. Maybe one of us in here has an anger problem. Every time I lose my temper, I'm gonna make fresh wudu and pray two rak'at. And the Prophet said, when you lose your temper, the 